In this video, I'm going to show you how I created this version of the Starry Night with acrylic paints. So whenever I start a painting, I like to start out with a sketch. It just helps me make sure that my proportions are right and that everything is in the right place before I actually begin. So I'm going to sketch out the general shapes for the clouds, where I want the moon and the stars to go, and the small little sliver of land that will be at the bottom. When I do this, I'm not really worried about making it exactly perfect. If something's a little bit too big or too small or I have some extra brush strokes, I know that I can always cover it up or change it around a little bit as I actually make my painting. So I never really like to work on a canvas that is white. I always like to have a base layer. I always find that it just helps the detailed layers on top if there is no white canvas left beneath it. So I'm going to lay down base colors for all of these sections to get rid of all of my white canvas. I'm going to use light yellow on the hill and around the stars and the moon. I'm going to cover my sky with a base layer of light blue. And when I was looking at the original painting very up close, I noticed that there was actually some very light brown in the clouds. So I'm going to put my base layer in my clouds as a light brown, which will kind of look a little bit strange at first, but once all of the details are on top, I found that it actually worked out really well. So now I want to start creating the impressionist style of painting. So I like to use a brush like this that's sort of rounded and I just like to choose a brush that I like the mark that it makes. So I prefer this rounded brush for the marking that it makes when I make a brush stroke. And basically the impressionist style is just creating the exact same brush stroke over and over and over again and layering them and layering them until you're happy with the outcome. There's no blending involved or anything like that. So it's just creating the exact same mark over and over again. 
So for the first layer of brush strokes that I create in my painting, I want to just kind of figure out the flow of the brush strokes because all of the other brush strokes that I add are going to layer over top of this one and just follow the direction and the flow that I've created. So as I go around and in between the stars and around the clouds, I just sort of imagine how my brush strokes could travel around and in between them and figure out the flow that I want in my painting. And then I'll just continue working in this exact same flow following the brush strokes for the rest of my painting. So now that I'm using a different shade of blue, I'm just following the brush strokes that I've already laid down. And I do like to leave little hints of those base layers peeking through in the final painting. So I'm going to add a lot of brush strokes with the blue colors and even some white. But in the end, I still want a little bit of a hint of that brown color or the yellow or the blue that I initially laid down in the first place. When I add more brush strokes, I'm not necessarily trying to avoid the previous brush strokes that were there. All I'm doing is just making sure they go in the same direction or follow the same flow as the previous brush strokes. But if some of them overlap each other, that actually creates some nice layering in the painting. So I'm not trying to keep them separate as I add more and more of them.
I like to make sure that I have a good range in my colors. So in this stage right here, I'm adding some nice darker blue brush strokes into my painting. So I want to be able to have some light blues, some medium blues, and some dark blues, and even some white, just so I have a nice full range of my color. And the same thing will apply for the moon and the stars. I want to have like lighter yellows, darker yellows, some oranges, and even some whites. So I have a nice range of color. So I'm going to start working on the glows of these stars a little bit more 
and I just want to make sure that the stars glows look like they're sort of blending in with the sky around it and since I'm using the impressionist style of painting I'm not actually ever blending anything together I'm just creating the same brush stroke over and over again so to make the stars look like they've sort of blended in with the blue sky around it I want to make sure that as I go around that star or around that circle that I have some brush strokes that sort of escape it and travel out onto the blue. And I'll even do the opposite sometimes where I'll go back in with a bit of blue and just do some small brush strokes that actually go over the yellow a little bit so that the colors crisscross over each other and it kind of makes them look a little more blended together and not completely separate. So I'm going to mix up an orange shade just to add a little bit of depth into my stars and into my moon. This orange color is still very yellow based so it didn't stand out too too much but I figured adding a little hint of orange would give the stars and the moon just a little bit more range of color or a little bit more depth. So from this point forward, it's mostly just sort of adjusting and fiddling around until I'm happy with it. So I'm still using the exact same brush strokes that I had been using before and just still following the flow of everything that I've already created. But when I'm looking at it, there's some spots where I felt like I could have had some more white brush strokes or some lighter blue brush strokes or added a little more yellow here and there. So I'm just sort of playing around, adding a few more brush strokes with all of my colors until I was happy with the final result. I found that as I was working on this painting, the more and more brush strokes that I added, the more and more detailed and blended and everything looked as it was coming together. So if you go back in my video to the beginning and just take a look at the start of the painting versus now, it just has so much more detail now that I've just built up a million brush strokes in this piece. So I would say the more brush strokes that you add, the more detail it's going to look like it has.
So there's my finished version of The Starry Night. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, make sure you leave a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you can see the future videos that I will do. In the comments, let me know what you would like to learn how to paint. And if I see some that I think I can do, I'll make a video and show you how I would create your suggestion. If you decided to create your own Starry Night painting based off of my video, I would love to see what you've done. You can send me a photo over on Instagram. All of my social media links are down below. Also, my online shop is linked down below if you'd like to check that out. Thanks so much for watching and I hope to see you next time.